Welcome to another Killzone Shadow Fall video. My name is Mario Carrion from Bandero Gaming. In this episode, I will cover all DLC released this week, including the free multiplayer map, the newest player card icon, the two new automata skins, and a new teaser announced by Guerrilla Games today. First, let's take a look at the two new automata skins. The existence of this DLC was confirmed last week during a livestream, where Guerrilla Games also showed the new map. The two new skins are the Cow, which is free. This skin has two different variations, one for the Helgas and one for the VSA. The difference is the color, one is brown and one is black, or fancy name as Holstein and High Shard. The other skin is called Cheese, and as you can expect, is yellow and practically it depicts the cheese. It's available for $199. According to Guerrilla Games, both skins are meant to represent a little bit of the Netherlands. Kind of an inside joke. I like both silly skins. Next in the list of new DLC is the release of the Killzone Universe Player Card Icon Pack. This pack is similar to the Killzone Mercenary one, but in this case it spans across the franchise. It includes the Helga's Doctor from Killzone 3, the Helga's Dog from Killzone Liberation, Captain Arvel from Killzone 2 and 3, just to name a few. This DLC is available for 99 cents. And the last DLC available this week is the newest free multiplayer map called The Canyon. This map offers zip lines just like in Killzone Mercenary and gravity wells that help you travel faster across different levels of the map. They also work as a way to slow you down when jumping off. Be aware that when using them you cannot use your weapon and although the distances are obviously really short, this is still worth mentioning. One interesting thing about this free map is that the DLC is not called Canyon or something similar. Instead, Guerrilla Games decided to bundle both the two previous maps and this one in one DLC. This DLC is called Free Multiplayer Maps. However, this doesn't mean you will have to download the previous maps one more time. It will download only this new one if you already have the two previous ones. This map is about 600 megabytes, or if this is your first time getting all maps, you will need about 1 gigabyte in your hard drive. And the last interesting news this time is the teaser of something. The speculation is that Guerrilla Games will show us something about Coop in two days. This is after the official Twitter account and four Guerrilla Games employees tweeted images about VSA soldiers. So everything indicates that we will get new fresh information about the co-op game mode that is going to be part of the season pass. I'm looking forward to seeing what is going to happen in two days. And that's all I have for you this time, comrade. Please consider rating the video or even subscribing to the channel for more Killzone content. My name is Mario Carrion. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Until then, be safe.